Books are awesome. Familiar old friends from the age when bedtime stories play on a loop, as reassuring as closed eyelids. Caterpillars pitter pattered and we drank tea with tigers, tickled our funny bones and our hearts beat like wild things quieting into slumber. Somehow, they were all about hunger. If you've been called a bookworm, it's probably a good term, not due to being a segmented tube with no skeleton, but because it's something to celebrate, something worthwhile. Devouring earth to power it up and make mud more fertile, something things can grow from. Good books are treasure. Something worth saying, in a way worth saying. An author's best thoughts poured out with imagination, then refracted through language and the many moons of practice to produce books that make brains buzz and fill us with feeling. The months, the years they take to make, and we can read one in an evening or two. Books are new views to add to our school-sized universe. A million tomes of brilliant thoughts, a growing dot-to-dot -dot you can connect to make your own constellations. And when the patterns are overwhelming, the elaborating ideas are like neurons. They branch out till your head's on fast forward. You're shouting over your own thoughts and you can't take much more of it. So you read yourself calm. Because books are a meditation, an anchor to the present. Away from past mistakes and the impending doom of the future, books are a focus, an om to now, a conscious moment. They are windows out of locked rooms, an escape from the everyday, building blocks for new worlds, adventure and entertainment, dragons, wizards, orcs, trolls, journeys through the forbidden, walls fought for a sort of control and all freely given, go to your library. They are bridges, each hybrid, part reader, part writer giving the perspective of someone else's version. They're the closest we can probably get to being another person. A way to reflect on ourselves by seeing each other. Books are mirrors, making it clear we're all made in the same basic image. They can be hope, something to believe in. Frederick Douglass, Shakespeare in Mandela Cell, a kind of freedom. They're the first thing dictators do away with. Because books are answers, and books are new questions. A way to remember, and a way of forgetting and I can't get them into my brain quick enough. Can't tip them in. I wish that I could blend them up and gulp them down. Just drink them in, soak them up like a sponge, or inhale them, or just think them in until I've read them all. Because books are awesome. Be a bookworm. Books work. Best way I know to make things grow. To fertilize the dirt.